As a massive fan of watching and playing football, the search for the best virtual experience of the sport is a never-ending expedition. When I got my Oculus Quest 2, I bought 2MD VR Football Unleashed right away and posted a pretty positive review of it just a few weeks in. It's not even the same game anymore. You see this footage I'm showing you? I thought this was insane. Yeah, this is it just a year later. True and Pixel has done an amazing job with updating this game. There's been so much added in the last 12 months, and it's honestly really impressive. The only thing I wanted them to add was an option for a full game, instead of just two-minute drills, which I articulated in a video I made last month. And guess what? This new game comes out called MVP Football The Patrick Mahomes Experience, and it offers just that. And as I'm making a review of it, I get an email from True and Pixel telling me to check out this new update, and they finally added an exhibition mode. The realm of VR football games was stagnant for so long, and in the last month or two, it's absolutely blown up and it's hard to keep up with. Instead of rewriting my review of MVP Football to include the additions to 2MD, I figured I'd make this small video to bring you up to speed on it, because the additions didn't change much of what I had to say about it anyways. So the biggest thing this update adds is an exhibition mode, allowing you to select either a 20, 40, or 60 minute game of football. And I'm really glad they allow you to select the length of each round, because a full 60 minute game could take a decent amount of time, but I'm always up for that. It is kinda annoying that the settings for each round can't be adjusted in the locker room, and you have to instead go to the practice field, make the adjustments, go back and start a new game, but it's not too big a deal, especially considering how freaking incredible the mode itself is. The core gameplay we all know and love is back and as good as ever, but the scenario in which you play has been greatly improved. The score starts 0-0 with X amount of time, and you get the ball in your hands to go score a touchdown. If you're stopped way short, you can punt the ball away, and if you're stopped kinda short, you can attempt a field goal, where you attempt to throw the ball between the crossbars. This is pretty cool, and I'm glad it's not just an auto-kick that RNGs whether you get points or not. Anyways, when the other team gains possession, however that may be, the screen goes black and shows you what the other team scores, if anything. Then it cuts back to you on the field and you're able to take another crack at the end zone. While it does indeed get the job done, I'm not a huge fan of the screen just going black when the opposition has the ball. I want the option to watch. Sure, it'll be skipped most of the time, but this way just leaves it feeling a little empty, and that's one thing MVP Football does really well. You can actually watch the other team try to score, and while the charm wears off relatively quickly, the option leaves the experience as a whole feeling more complete. And it doesn't help that the game isn't split into quarters either, nor do you have timeouts to help manage the clock. These are small things, but definitely things that would make the mode as a whole a lot better. The only other thing I'd want added is a way to change your 8 plays at some point during the game, whether you get access to the drawing board at halftime, or a way to store plays in a playbook that you can access on the sidelines. With a full 60 minute game, the same 8 plays can start to feel very repetitive, so I think an addition of something like this is needed now more than ever. I've got to give them huge props for adding this little TV in the locker room though, because it shows you how to perform some maneuvers that are less than apparent, especially to newcomers, and it's a game changer. Even I didn't know you could actually hand the ball off, but yep, this shows you how and it works pretty well. In a two minute drill situation, it isn't an important thing to do, but in full games, there needs to be some way to run the ball, and it's great that they made it clear how to do it. The other big thing they added is a QB challenge mode, which is pretty much the practice field on steroids. There's giant targets swinging from the ceiling and receivers running routes everywhere, and the cool thing is they don't adjust to your throw to make the catch. They stay on their path and require extreme precision and timing to hit. They also added this clipboard that gives each player a name, as well as strength, size, and speed stats, which is neat. Still no online play, but that's okay, this update was massive and that gives them something to work on, right? Really though, their commitment to making this game the best it possibly can be is admirable and makes the $15 I spent on it feel more and more like a killer deal. And don't worry, this hasn't turned into a solely VR football channel, I've actually got some really cool stuff in the works, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.